the fashion brand Balenciaga. Oh, wait. Uh, my producers are telling me that it's Balenciaga. I don't know or care. Um, but uh, apparently it's called Balenciaga. And we should, we should, we should label them correctly since we're about to uh, talk about them being... Uh, apparently. Big protests this week across the country against Balenciaga, the fashion, fashion house, for promoting child sexualization in its advertisements, which it certainly did. Some of its ads featured kids holding teddy bears in bondage gear. It's not an accident. The CEO of Balenciaga's parent company, a man called Francois-Henri Pinot, also owns an auction house that sold art, art that sexualizes children. Hello, everyone. Your semi-favorite YouTuber here, Internet J. I've done the rise and fall of companies before, but I've never witnessed one as shocking as Balenciaga's. Instead of talking about a person, I will be dissecting Balenciaga like it was a frog in science class. Now, I've never worn nor could afford any of their products. I'm far from a fashion expert, but it doesn't take a creative director to see how the company's fallen apart. Essentially, Balenciaga has faced intense backlash for two main ad campaigns involving the sexualization of children. One featured a kid holding what can only be described as a BDSM teddy bear, while the other showcased court documents about a virtual child case. I swear to God, it's always some pedo shit. The rules are very simple, just don't touch kids. Why can't people understand that? Hare Krishna. Anyways, let's get into the rise and fall of Balenciaga. But first, this video is sponsored by Galaxy Lamps. Galaxy Lamps immerse your room in a bright array of stars and constellations. I often use this product at night and stare at it while relaxing. Personally, I love RGB and lights if you can't tell. The lamp uses low wattage lasers so it's safe for you, safe for kids, and is pet friendly. If you enjoy space and want to create a cozy atmosphere, Galaxy Lamps are the perfect product. For those who are still looking for that perfect gift for others or themselves, use the link galaxylamps.co slash aj and discount code aj to get 15% off your order. Balenciaga is a fashion house that was founded in 1919 by Cristobal Balenciaga in Spain. It is currently owned by the French company Kering, which also owns Gucci and Alexander McQueen. And while Balenciaga is widely known for their polarizing marketing campaigns, boldness is basically the company's signature move. Balenciaga believes that pushing the limits of fashion results in people talking about them. The buzz then gets sales. For example, in September 2021, they collaborated with Fortnite. Taking it a step further, they offered virtual outfits and accessories which helped attract the younger Gen Z demographic. It was a collaboration more unexpected than McDonald's and Travis Scott. Continuing to demonstrate their grip on pop culture, Balenciaga dropped a never-before-seen episode of The Simpsons at Paris Fashion Week in 2022. But the moves drew interest and many people wondered who Balenciaga would work with next. The company was so famous, the witch Myrtle Snow on American Horror Story chose Balenciaga as her last words. Any last words? Only one. Balenciaga! That's a pretty funny statement when you're about to be burned at the stake. But hey, at least you can say her last words were designer. On November 20th, 2022, everything fell apart for the company when the YouTuber Shoe on Head posted a tweet calling out two of their campaigns. The brand Balenciaga just did a uh, interesting photo shoot for their new products recently, which included a very purposefully poorly hidden court document about virtual child normal stuff. The image went viral online, which led many people to think they were from one ad when they were actually from two separate ones. The first series of photos was part of Balenciaga's 2022 holiday campaign. One image featured a child clutching a teddy bear wearing bondage gear. Another showed a kid hanging a white teddy bear wearing a padlock choker around its neck. Now, while the bears were actually handbags, I think it's nearly impossible to tell what the underage models were selling. There were a slew of products around the children that didn't seem to be related in the slightest. To me, the photos were extremely frightening and creepy. Not to mention, wine glasses were placed on the table, which made it look like a grooming scene. Probably a recreation. A TikToker commented on another image, claiming there was evidence of satanic worship. Five things spotted in one of the Balenciaga campaign photos. A child's drawing of the devil. A random black hood perfectly placed and tied, resembling a satanic cult. The Balenciaga tape spelt incorrectly with two A's. Ball. A fertility deity god. Even the trainers look like the devil staring you in the face. Note the candle on the opposite side to the hood. Lastly, one of the dolls with a padlock round its neck. Coincidence? Unfortunately, a second ad campaign took things from Dave Chappelle to Amy Schumer. 
In Balenciaga's 2023 spring campaign with Adidas, their hourglass handbag was sitting on top of a desk full of legal papers. Interestingly, one of those papers was a printed copy of the Supreme Court's 2008 U.S. v. Williams decision. The case ruled on the constitutionality of a law prohibiting the pandering of child... Naturally, conspiracy theories ran amok that Balenciaga was full of child predators who were proudly flaunting their exploits. Meanwhile, others claimed the company was merely appealing to their wealthy consumer base who enjoyed sexualizing children. On November 22, 2022, two days after Shuan Head's tweet, Tucker Carlson went on Fox News condemning the situation. By the way, those are two names I never thought I'd say in the same sentence. Here you have a major international retail brand promoting kitty and sex with children, and not promoting it subtly, but right out in the open. Not long after this, many celebrities began speaking out, including Kim Kardashian. As a mother of four, I have been shaken by the disturbing images. The safety of children must be held with the highest regard and any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society, period. Other celebs appear to burn or throw away their Balenciaga products. However, Kanye West, who was dropped by the company for his anti-Semitic remarks, defended them. That probably did more harm than good, though. Sadly, Balenciaga didn't respond to the situation very well. The company first tried to deflect blame by saying a third party provided the prop court documents for the shoot. Balenciaga then filed a $25 million lawsuit against Nord6, a marketing agency involved in the court document ad but not the teddy bear one. However, they wielded no creative power and had nothing to do with set design. Eventually, Balenciaga dropped the lawsuit. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, they surprisingly got better. Just kidding, they got much worse. On November 28, 2022, an image from the Scrap 2023 summer campaign included a book by the artist Michael Boromins whose work featured castrated toddlers. Oh, and if you think his book placement was a coincidence, take a look at the similarities between one of his paintings and Kim Kardashian's Balenciaga Met Gala look in 2021. Throughout this entire ordeal, Balenciaga has apologized multiple times. First, Balenciaga apologized for the BDSM teddy bear ads, then again for the ad with the Supreme Court document. The creative director of the company, Demna Gvasalia, also apologized on Instagram. The CEO hopped on the sorry train as well and stated Balenciaga planned to donate money to help protect children. Balenciaga is currently under heavy fire and went from one of the most beloved fashion brands to the most hated. They first suffered a blow due to their association with Kanye West during his dramatic public fallout. They then designed three ad campaigns involving the sexualization of children. While I don't believe the conspiracy theories that Balenciaga is full of child predators, I can definitely see why people think that. I mean, just look at Jeffrey Epstein. He was very wealthy and abused underage girls for years while being in the same social circles as many powerful figures. There's an argument to be made that there's a tolerance for among the elite. Personally, I think there was one or a few sick, twisted individuals at Balenciaga who tried to see what they could get away with. The court document didn't just conveniently end up there. It's too random that that specific Supreme Court case was chosen. I didn't even know the legality of CP went all the way to the Supreme Court. This was intentional without a doubt, especially since it occurred after the BDSM bear incident and was followed by the weird book one. It's obvious someone or a small group of people pushed the limits too far and revealed their sick perversions. And it's entirely Balenciaga's fault for not providing proper oversight and failing to protect children from being sexualized. There were multiple people whose job it was to make sure everything was cleared and okay. I think Balenciaga's actions are gross and appalling. The fashion brand needs to launch an investigation and fire the people responsible for these atrocities. They need to prioritize the safety of children and honestly do better.